Welcome everybody to the Sign In Podcast. I'm your host, Big Daddy, down in my basement with co-host Hollow, Nikki Mac. Uh, we didn't explain it before, but we call this the Sign In because in uh, rural Wisconsin, one of the things to do is to go to the bar, your local tavern, and they'll usually have a sign in book. And once a week you go there and you sign in with your name and throw in a buck and at the end of the week they pick your name and uh, maybe get some money, maybe get a free bar tab. It all depends. Every bar's got their own little rules. So, But you do have to be at least within that week. Yeah, so every week you got to sign in. So we're sort of holding ourselves to trying to do a podcast every week and we call it the sign in down in my basement bar. So a little bit of Wisconsin. A little bit of bar banter we'll give to you and whatever is on our mind. Um, lately, I've been missing baseball. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> well, a good thing you brought that up because last night on FS Wisconsin, they had the good old uh, uh, game 162 where it was the Cubs against the Brewers and Cesar Sabathia closed, uh, closed the game. Uh, it- and that was when it was they were – Either going to have to, they were going to be either the wild card team or they would have to have a one game wild card playoff. 2008. Yeah. 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 And they had that on, and, you know, watching all those old clips of, you know, all the old Brewer games, just that itch. I was over at our buddy's house and they had, uh, they had one of the games on too where Sabathia was pitching, but all I could think of, because we only had Sabathia that one year, there was like a happier, half a season. Yeah. Uh, I remember getting tickets to a game that season, and it was right when we got Sabathia, and I thought, I was hoping that, you know, the game that he was going to be starting, but Ben Sheets came back healthy, and he started that game against the Nationals, and he threw a fucking complete game shutout. Is that when he had the 18 strikeouts? Yeah. So... I was completely happy with not seeing Sabathia because <laughs> yeah. I might have seen one of Sheets' yeah. best games ever. <laughs> right. And let me tell you, when that guy was on, he was fucking unhittable. His curveball dropped off the table. Well, and that's one thing, too, is like I was watching last night, you know, back when they had their minor league, when they came up with their minor league, and they had all those great players. Like, And I totally forgot about some of them, but, like, you know, you had Ryan Ron, Prince Fielder, you had Corey Hart, you had Giovanni Gallardo. Um, JJ Hardy. Um, there was no, man. There was you, th- yeah. You're right. Who was the other guy? He, he Corey was, Hart. Too. No, but oh, there was like a second baseman oh, or uh, that's tr- uh, one of our buddy's favorite players of all time. Um, he knows who he is. There was a, like a shortstop or somebody too, and it wasn't LCDs. It was well, somebody JJ Hardy. Him. JJ Hardy was the uh, the shortstop. Man, Ricky that. Weeks. Ricky Weeks. That's right. There. That, yes. Two yes. That's so uh, Ricky Weeks. I remember that shit is Weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to the bars. Like, after he was pretty much done, it was like his mm-hmm. last season. And Miller Lite had these promo posters at all the bars. And it was this guy holding, like, uh, you know, it was one of the vendors running up and down the stairs with the bottles of beer. And he had one in his hand. And he looked just like Ricky Weeks. And we're like, oh shit, they demoted him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find that poster again because it was, it looked just like Ricky Weeks. But it was, it was a vendor. With beer in the stands, I'm like, holy shit, he fell far in a short amount of time. <laughs> Dang, Ricky. <laughs> I had a good story uh, about Ricky Weeks. Uh, we were in Milwaukee, uh, what was that, seven, eight years ago, uh, downtown, got to be bar closed. Uh, a friend of mine said, uh, Come over here, got a guy, it's gonna give us a ride home. We opened up the door, it's Ricky Weeks. I said, You gotta be kidding me. Ricky Weeks, you haven't driven anybody home in three weeks, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how bad a slumpsy go? And oh, he yeah. slammed the door on you and go right for you. <laughs> <That's a good> <laughs> yeah, he said your ass can walk. <laughs> when do you think they're actually gonna open the season back up? That's one of the. When are they going to... It's got to be at least one sport that's got to start it. Well, they were talking about possibly doing the NBA playoffs. Right, it was going to be a best of seven. Yeah, starting with whatever record they gonna, that they had. They were, and they were going to... They had two places that they were thinking of as Las Vegas and then Orlando at the Universal Studios. Yeah, no crowd, but, yeah. you know... It's still something. 
it's something to get, the, you know, so it's not a asterisk year where nobody won well, a championship. I have watched uh, Korean baseball live <laughs> on ESPN. North oh, or South? <laughs> We've had this discussion already. <laughs> I think that's what I said to you when I, when I on Wednesday, when oh, I said, yeah, yeah right. I was like, yeah, I was watching North Korean baseball. No. I was like, oh, no, I said Korean baseball. And you're like, which one, North or the South? <laughs> That's why I had it so quick to. But in my I mean, to say. it you know because obviously with the time difference, it's really late. I mean, I was I couldn't fall asleep one night, and then I was flipping through channels, and I was watching it, and <laughs> umpires were horrible, like balls and strikes. And then I find out the next day that uh, the Korean league um, has fired all of the umps in the, in that uh, Korean league, and they are with new ones because. They just weren't trained, or they just, <laughs> yeah, they're just—they're all I on, don't the, know. on the take. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I fixed those in with those uh, Koreans. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they were dealing with some yakuza across the, <laughs> yeah. across the, yeah, whatever but sea I mean, it is. <laughs> but I mean, it was at least cool because you were watching something live. Uh, you know, I mean, and it was just like I was watching on TV today too. They had the slap contest on TV. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, the Russian slap <laughs> contest, yeah. and I'm like, those there's at least are... something that. <laughs> Yeah, I was one get into that profession too. You know, you know, it's like the guy must have hated uh, um, over the top. Yeah, you know, was or, like, he was like, "No, man, we're taking three steps further." Uh, slap contest, and they get knocked out too. I saw one guy break his hand by slapping some big meathead. <laughs> he just like what went, or his, he broke his no, he broke his wrist because he like he went too far and he hit his wrist like on the guy's temple, yeah. which is pretty hard, and he like cracked his wrist or dislocated or something i'm like russians are fucking crazy oh, oh. yeah man yeah Watch i mean you know rocky four <laughs> yeah i must break you <laughs> he had all that technology oh, yeah. though you know he had the old stair yeah, master he did, yeah. and, uh, he had that heart of a u.s champion though I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. rocky was you know. doing it the old school using the outdoor up in the mountains in the snow and Here's the Russian using. I mean that that was almost like kind of. If he dies, he dies. It's almost like <laughs> yeah, when yeah. you watch Beer Fest and how they were practicing with goat piss. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they're sitting there, don't thirsty. Yeah, he's got a keg over his head. He's running on a running on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. Are they ever gonna come out with Weed Fest? I I remember them talking about. They it. They were but, talking, but I mean, because at the end of after the credits or. Towards the end, they had an Easter egg with Willie Nelson yep. and, and sort of the same weed, thing. Yeah, and they said weed fats. They almost need right. to have Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg in it to even for anybody right. to watch it. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe Joe Rogan <laughs> or Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith, which is uh, I finally got to see the reboot of Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's... I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it. But if you looked at that movie or even any of those movies that Kevin Smith has done, the amount of celebrities that are in his movies. I mean like, friends just with like everybody. well yeah, and like even in the reboot, it was all of them that he had in the past all came into this one and it was So you had all these little cameos that were yeah. great. The Chris Jericho one was Yeah. We're <laughs> out of nowhere. We still watch pro wrestling yeah. like a couple of eight year olds, so yeah. <laughs> There's a wrestler in there. He's, he's one of the best of all time. His name's Chris Jericho, and all of a sudden, I know, he's well, I know, I know who that is. Yeah, yeah. there's like, a guy from Pulaski walks around with his coat on. <laughs> <laughs> Does it light up? Does it go like this then? <laughs> or no, that's a WCW Nitro jacket. That's oh, an oldie. Yeah, that's an he oldie. was in WCW. He was in WCW, yep. but. I yeah, but I mean, he has, yeah, but he had the white, anyways, white yeah. J hat, you know. Anyway, he, he, he's don't in really the, know this guy is really good. He was in this movie as a KKK leader. It was, <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, it was a pretty funny yeah. scene, actually. In the, um, <clears throat> in the wrestling thing? <clears throat> no, in the J and oh, Silent Bob reboot. In the J and Silent Bob yeah. reboot. All of a sudden, okay, he yeah. was in there, and, like, some of their friends got kidnapped by some KKK members, and all of a sudden, the leader lifts up his hood, and it's Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. <laughs> Ah, it never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've been watching the uh, Vice Dark Side of the Ring where they tell yeah. all these stories from the past of like, you know, uh, like uh, Superfly Jimmy Snooker. Randy you know, Savage and possibly, Miss Elizabeth. Possibly murdered his wife and the story behind all that. Oh, it's and all crazy. There's, there's so many I stories. I've yeah. little plastic figurines and I got the old cage and the whole thing. Yeah, uh, who was the guy that got assassinated dino oh, bravo yep 
they did a thing on Dino Bravo, his whole life and how he got a set, he got, they basically think he got shot by the mafia because he owed money everywhere. Uh, so they go through this, you know, they go through his life being in wrestling and then uh, being in the WWF at the time and then sort of getting screwed by Vince McMahon and then he tried doing some stuff on the side as like a strong man or an actor and stuff and he kept living the lifestyle as a wrestler you know, when he was making money, so right. he was just in what dead up it? to his eyeballs. Yeah, you know, uh, he was like a Jordan, but not even that good, and then sucked at gambling. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> didn't have a contract like Jordan either. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, he was a big gambler, too, yeah, I think. He, uh, yeah, from what he, I remember. The one, like, uh, was the Benoit one. Oh, that yeah, was, the Chris was Benoit. A, that was a two-part series that they did on, on that, and it was... Wow, I mean, so much information that you never knew. Sure, I mean, you don't know Holy these people's shit. lives. They, uh, especially of how many, like, they even showed like the crime scene photos. Yeah, the crime scene photos and stuff. Which like was that. just skin more or crawling. less like his best friend Eddie Guerrero, who passed away before that, and he just like lost it then after that. And then yeah. on top of it, his mental stability, his concussions that he had nonstop. I mean. If you ever watched any of his wrestling or back when he was in wrestling, he did the flying headbutt. Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. And if you ever watch, like, if you watch wrestlers now, like, they use, like, their elbows or their arms or their knees to, like, before they, you know. Before they hit the ground. he actually used his head. head. So he would go like this, and then he would go like this, straight, and then his, his head would hit. Sometimes his, like, chest would hit the floor first, but the whiplash would still yeah. snap he was from his Canada, head. Canada, right? Yep. did he have, like, yep. a Canadian yep. moneker to his yep. name? Yeah. Was the, the Toothless uh, Wonder. Rabbit Wolverine. Oh, Rabbit Wolverine. <laughs> well, he was the Toothless Wonder. Toothless Wonder. Wonder after he was, lost like, it too, uh, too. like, Canadian Jack yeah. Strickland or something like oh, that. Oh, uh, he was also the, uh, he had a bunch of names, but there was the... I know exactly who he Canadian guys. Crippler. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Because mm-hmm. uh, he had the cross-face Crippler as his submission yeah. move. I mean, but he, the flying headbutt was like his finisher. Otherwise, he was a. I mean, he was a hell so of he a had, wrestler. So he had like that sophomore year. I took that girl to prom. <laughs> 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 she was the Canadian crippler. She was exchange student. You know, you got an exchange student from a, Manitoba. She was. A, she was a junior. <laughs> she was a junior. So it already seemed okay. You know the currency difference. <clears throat> They use that for age too? <laughs> but uh, they figured he had CTE on a level that oh. football players don't even yeah. have because like of they years showed, uh, of... They showed his... They, they showed after they would have, after they did an autopsy and then the CT scan of, they his showed, of his brain and then they actually had the doctor or the... Uh, I forgot. This was like a little bit after because then they were doing like with concussions and all that they had the x-rays of his brain and then while they were doing the documentary i think is when this doctor was looking at him and he's like football players don't have it this bad this guy's got the worst case of cte i've ever seen Mm -hmm. in a human being on earth so i mean because like the the spots like a a football player it might look like a couple dime or quarter size spots on the brain (laughs) he had dime or quarter size spots that were light colored like The opposite. So, like, his whole brain was just ro- ro- scrambled. Ro- right. Right. Just I mean, if you think, I mean, how he killed his wife and his son. son. I mean, how he, how he did it. How he did it. It was, like, methodical and just heartless. And then he was, like, searching. He was searching on the internet. He His his wife and kid were, like, dead in the house for a couple of days. Yep. And he was, like, Googling what's the best way to hang yourself with a exercise equipment. Yep. And that's how he ended up doing it. He calculated how much weight on the uh, overhead uh, lateral press, yep. and he pulled it down around his neck and then just let it go, or pulled the pin. Mm-hmm. And that's how he died. But uh, but they, they the backstory into, like, uh, I never knew that Eddie Guerrero, he died from a heart attack, uh, most likely, from steroids and CT yes. combination, but he was in a hotel room and his his uh, nephew Chavo Guerrero, who was also a wrestler, he basically died in Chavo's arms. I never knew that. Yeah. So that story, when that was told, I was just like, holy shit! Even if you're not a fan of wrestling, if you watch that two part series, it's so interesting and mind blowing how the you know, like if you like the uh, what was that. The Wisconsin Avery case on oh, Netflix. Stephen Avery. Oh, uh, Making a Murder. Making a Murder. If you like Making a Murder, this is like a mini 
making a murderer, yep. but without the intent behind it, it was just a scrambled brain that fucked everything up. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can't recommend that more than somebody go watch the Vice two part series with Chris Benoit. Yeah. It was just crazy. For some reason I think I've seen that, but. No, I, I would have remembered it. There was something else. It might have been, uh, they, they got those, they, you know, they got those shows like Oxygen or Reels or... They do... They do shitty acting and it's not like the yeah, real the, story, the recreations right? and everything. Yeah. And just recently, his son, who was from another wife, he's the only surviving member of Chris Benoit's family. Uh, what the hell's his name? Uh, David? Yeah, yep. David, David Benoit. Benoit. Yep. He was in Canada at the time with his mother... Who, you know, Chris had been divorced from. So he's had to live this whole life of like, because the WWE, after he did that, they pretty much erased him from WWE's history. Yeah. They don't talk about him. He's never going in the Hall of Fame. He, you know, don't well, it's mention pretty rough, him. you know, it's just. Uh, but then they totally abandoned the fan, you know, his son too. All right, until just you, recently. You also, they, you know, you also disband the fact of. Uh, the CT it just gets brushed under the rug. And course. back then they really didn't know because this was before even like the football scam. Man, these guys know what the hell they're doing. They didn't call it CTE. They called it like what uh, soldiers get when PTSD. before PTSD they called it shell shock. Oh. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's a good they, point. They they it was something else. It wasn't as serious as we know it now to be CTE where it's like an actual not irreversible because I see there's a lot of tests and. Uh, different drugs that they're using for uh, the same thing they use for like Alzheimer's patients. But anyway, back then, the science wasn't there. They didn't know what the fuck to call it. So, but that, that documentary was unbelievable. Yeah. And the whole Vice, Darker Side of the Ring, especially if you were a fan of those guys back in the day, I was listening to Arn Anderson do a... Four Horsemen. Four yep. Horsemen. Yep. He was... was he older was than uh, you guys are. No, right? You're old, what? No, you're old. I'm old. You guys are older. Than <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna be 37. A couple. So BD's weeks. the baby here. Yeah, I'm the baby on the. Group. And I'm and I'm 22. So how old is your <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. He just turned 40. <laughs> you wouldn't let me finish. I was gonna say plus 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to put this out there before we get ahead of ourselves. Uh, my 40th birthday. Yeah. Uh, the Bengals play at Houston. That's where I'll be. And uh, you guys got an invite. If you guys would like to join, I know. Fuck yeah. Nah, well, well, but you might be a little bit uh, distant on this one, though, BD. Uh, my, I invited my buddy Craig. He's like, what? He's like, Tennessee at Green Bay is no good that weekend? It's a tough one, man. So, hey, it's out there. If you guys have to. We might do a vacation in Belize for like a week after that. When is uh, When does that happen? December 27th. I ain't got shit to do. Well, you're invited, man. Unless uh, something pops up with work and all of a sudden. Well, you know, Christmas yeah, is Friday. That Christmas Day is Friday. Friday. That's the shitty thing. My birthday was supposed to be on a Saturday, but the goddamn leap year. Oh, yeah. Uh, I screwed that. But, you know, probably still be in quarantine by that time. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's starting to, the fog's starting to clear on all that pretty quick right now. So. Yeah, well, uh, I saw some of the, uh, the, some of the bars around here have, you know, starting to open well, up somewhat. Well, for those who aren't familiar, it's not legal no. per se, but the county we live in, sheriff, basically said he wasn't going to enforce the law. Interesting. It's true, all right? Yeah, but the thing is, if somebody, people got to be careful with it because if they were going to a bar and they posted all over social media or some shit like that, somebody could complain to like the governor's office and the state troopers could come in and shut yeah. the fuck down because it's still technically illegal by state law it is uh and like where we live but where we live in the village that we live uh, we are not be we are not controlled by so we have a city it's you know the village this, police. The, yeah the village police where we live in the chief of police is acting on the state law which says you can't have them open right but word through the grapevine is that the next uh village board meeting coming up they're gonna tell him basically you're going to do what the sheriff's doing or you're not going to have a job. So yeah. we'll see what happens with that because all the other bars in Shano County are getting that revenue and inside the town, I oh, just they, they, I just said what county we lived in, yeah. didn't we? Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. They're going to find out. They know what it is. Yeah. Uh, the town we live in, 
they give out the liquor license to the the village That's the bars, thing. so they dictate if they can open or not. Because they can pull them. Then they can pull their liquor license if they were just to open up without, you know. But they did. I did hear that you have to do watch out because there could be some backlash to a lot of these places that are opening under, you know, just over the sheriffs uh, saying that you could because the thing is, is the towns are the ones that handle the liquor license. And like you were saying, all it takes is just a few to complain about it or some, and it could go into a meeting. And no matter what, you could have whatever, but it, it ends up being the town, whatever, that can pull the liquor license. Yeah, if you were to have a village <laughs> meeting, like I think one's coming up this week, and a couple fucking cunty assholes show up and go, we see all these people going to the bars, is not still well, supposed to be a safer at home? You know, then, you know. There's that, well, there's that Facebook no... page. This is where I get, there was, um, uh, there's a Facebook page. Uh, it's called the Wisconsin Quarantine Safer at Home Facebook page. It's like, I forgot how many. But it's, and it's like more or less people just, you know, giving their own opinions on it. Well, some douchebag went and decided to take a picture. I don't know of the name of, of the bar it is now, but it's around here. I'm not going to say it, yeah. but took a picture of it. And people were coming because I just wanted to see, like, why would this retard go and, you know, <laughs> that's the one thing. Like, if you're at the bar, okay, enjoy it. Quit blasting over social media because... Yeah. But he went, he put it on this big main one that it's a Wisconsin one. Yeah. And people were all like, I was reading the comments and people were all like, take that thing down. Like, what are you doing? Like, just enjoy yourself drinking. Yeah. Why do you have to take a picture? And it said, like, the person who posted it says, it's Friday. Let's start drinking. Oh, God. That's like the Tech Nine song. Or it's, it's called Don't Tweet This. <laughs> Yeah. The, the whole yeah, video yeah. was like yeah. him partying with a bunch of bitches. It's like, put your fucking phone away. Don't tweet this. We're yeah. having fun. Don't tweet this. Well, well you know. You're so that's the a... thing. Like, social media now has gone to a whole nother level. It, 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 like, before, I can remember when I was I mean, when I was a kid, I would yeah. say, my parents, you know, this is back when <laughs> parents were taking their kids to the bar, you know, whatever. And the parents were, like, sitting there drinking, whatever. Well, but there's, like, I can remember. Words. Yeah, but... The only social media or anything of a memory that you would have of it is if you were, like, young enough to remember, or pictures. Yeah. Okay? But people weren't going, hey, you know. It uh, wasn't instant. It wasn't instant. And it seems like a lot of times now, bars used to just be where people would go, like, how we are. We just sit here and just conversate and, you know, talk about topics or, you know, life in general. But now it just seems like everybody has to go to a bar with some type of meaning to go other than that, like they, they, wanna, they can I'll, enjoy themselves at a bar without certain people being there. That and I need to take pictures and show everybody else I'm having a good time. I'm and, not having an nervous And nothing time. was, I mean, it, remember when the, what was it, last year when <clears throat> the duck lips were a thing? Yeah. And you'd be oh, sitting in a bar, and then you would watch a oh, girl. And see and you'd a start, girl doing mm, that shit. Here, yeah, let's take mm, one right now. Mm, yeah, and then, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> she, one. Let's go. And then all of a sudden, she'd go like this. No, I don't like that. No. Mm, yeah, and, another one. Hey, hey. Oh, can you take a picture of us? Like, come on, be ready. Duck lip it. It's almost like, hey, tell you what, I'll lady. Do <clears throat> every time that you <clears throat> decide to... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every time that you go and take a picture and decide <clears throat> to close that out to do another one, you have to take a shot. Because after a while... There ain't going to be no duck face. Your, li your lips ain't going to match. And then we're going to grab your phone and we'll start taking pictures of you passed out on the bar. It's one of our buddy's favorite sayings. He's like, quit talking like your lips don't match. Right. <laughs> Basically, it means you're just saying something stupid. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but we're in, what, day four of the Badger bounce back plan that, you know, as it decreases each day... The new case is reported. If it's less than the day before, after 14 days, it's supposed yeah, to be open. Yeah, 14 days right. is, a, is <clears throat> like your marker. Yeah, so, so we're on track to do that. So, so it was supposed to be the 26th of May. That is that when the phases then are supposed to come uh, into that's effect? That's where it's supposed to like, end. Like, that's, so that's, the, that's the safer at home. Is safer over. at home order is like over. Yes. Yeah, so that, I don't foresee that he's going to extend it. Any. He's getting too much heat already. No. They know, man, because you can't. These businesses are. You do it until June, then you're gonna see a bunch of other problems come into place. Yeah, you gotta risk it, man. Well, it's it, not even risking, honestly. Yeah, no. it's it's not. People people have it's seen one that of it's, those things where if you're fearful of going out, whatever, then just don't go out. Yeah, it's like getting. 
it's very hurtful to some people, and they don't know why some people. They don't know if it's the blood type, they don't know if it's the certain pre-consisting addition. All three of us could have it right now. Not know. I had just, a headache this morning, but I didn't drink yesterday either. I, I had a cough last night. I burned week, a bunch of incense yesterday. <laughs> so. <laughs> had some green tea, went away. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fucking meditate, trying to levitate off the ground and do my chi chi. <laughs> Master G. B or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I, I sit outside as you I watch the cars G. go I call by. Master B. I had my Master P on. I put on the old Bar Bar Elms and <laughs> hover. Silk the Shaka. That's right. I got the hookup. Holly, you're really. I got the hookup. Remember that fucking movie? That was the The, the, the cell phone. Yeah. There was one before that called I'm Bowden. I had it. I was a big Master P. Body guy. body. I was well, selling I VHS tapes back in. Uh, we, I went down to Milwaukee. I was like 17 or 16. Bootlegging. And I, I went and bought the real things, but they didn't have them at the Sam Goodies and everywhere up here. So I was I'm getting cute. like 30, 30 bucks a pop. Hey, they were twenty dollars down there. Think about that. Twenty bucks back then. That was a lot of money. Oh yeah. For a young yeah. uh, for a young bucks, guy. So you were flipping ten dollars profit. Uh yeah, right all through Deer Run Apartments, right there off of Taylor. That's a good story. <laughs> I bought myself an old limit chain. <laughs> oh, I, I had a custom one that said DJ did, Big Daddy yeah. on it. I, I got a new <laughs> one, my senior one picture with mine. at the easy. county fair. I had a big Plaza. Cuban link chain when, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I, when I crossed the stage when I graduated. Because I used to be a DJ and I fucking tried my hand at rapping. Didn't work out so well. I still got the songs too to embarrass myself. Years it's all right, later. man. It's better that you try it and knew you stick. sucked instead of being like yeah. uh, one of these morons out here. Like, yeah. how does this? I'm gonna stick to it, man. I'm gonna make it one day. Em's gonna find me. <laughs> I'm gonna march right over to Palatine Records. <laughs> <laughs> With all the other douchebags. Who's better, there. Lemmy or God? Uh, uh, Lemmy. Wrong. Wrong trick question. <laughs> Lemmy is God. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking airheads. I love that movie. <laughs> Where they take over the radio station yes. with the fake <laughs> squirt guns. No, no, another one. Of, that was Sandler's early yeah, movies, right? One yeah. of Adam Sandler's yeah. first, and Steve Buscemi and uh, Brendan Fraser yeah. in Ceno <laughs> Man. Did Brendan Fraser die recently? No, no he saw it. He just got fat. <laughs> he did. Like the rest of us know. <laughs> man, loved him in Ceno Man. Just like Val Kilmer. <clears throat> oh man, talk about a guy just letting letting go. Fuck everyone. He's just like, fuck I mean, you. You go from I'm having a burger and some yeah. spaghetti <laughs> at the same time. I mean, it's like Val Kimber in Top Gun, you know. He was all uh, the beach mob when they were sitting there having their little volleyball match. Nice. And then you started seeing him Dang. start going, uh, I remember, like, I really liked him in uh, the Doors movie. He played a hell of a job. Oh, Jim Morrison. Jim, yeah. Jim Morrison. Didn't he play the guy in Willow with all the shirt guys? Uh, uh, he was he in there. He Mad Marty. Yes. yes. Yeah. You guys forget about there. Willow. But I do. <laughs> Until movie. you mentioned that, I probably haven't thought about that in 10 the years. Little, the little guys, I, th- I filmed like a can of beer and got drunk. The little yep. bro- they called them brownies. Out of the way. They called the short people pecs. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the way, peck. <laughs> like, they're like coming through on a horse with a bunch of swords. The guys are trying to do magic and shit. <laughs> what? And, and he well, sucked at it too. Warwick Davis, the original Ewok. Uh, from fucking, from fucking Return of the Jedi, he was, uh, yeah. he was, uh, wicked. <laughs> well, we were, uh... You never know. No, I, mean, I haven't, I haven't even heard that movie mentioned no. in probably ten years. Holy shit. Well, we were... Gemma. It was a good... It was a couple gem. weeks ago. Almost like Masters of the Universe. Oh, that was on well, I watched I saw it. that on... I it was on, like, a few weeks ago. On Hulu or something. Yeah. I, saw, I was like, they got fucking Masters of the Universe, Dolph Lundgren, yeah! Yeah. Well, that was kind of like then too a couple weeks ago because you were bringing it up Masters of the Universe. We we're talking about the eighties. Remember the movie <clears throat> Heavy Metal? The the animated one. The animated one where no, it had I don't. like Sammy Hagar playing the uh, the that. famous song Heavy Metal. You know, like uh, I don't remember this. Uh, no. It was a movie. It's Fifteen all... seconds to midnight. Call it Heavy, heavy metal. metal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, it was like a weird. Whoever made it and animated this was this probably just like on fucking mushrooms yeah. and angel dust and everything you could possibly imagine because they'd have a fight scene and it'd be like it was in slow motion. <laughs> Cut your head off. It was. It's yeah. so weird to watch now. And they had this, she rides this fucking pterodactyl type oh, thing, and it, had, it just it makes <laughs> this noise in it. It makes this weird noise that comes. It's this giant thing, and it's like ah! 
And she's just, like, <laughs> straddling it, like, yeah. with no clothes on. Oh, yeah, it. she's half naked or naked yeah. through the whole movie. It, it's and so hard to follow, but you can't look away. It's like fucking a shit from Blasky there. Ba ba da she it is so weird to watch, especially coming back now and watching it. We, we were watching wrestling or something, and then it, we flipped through the channels, and it was on, and we saw the last 15 minutes, and we're both just like, we co- we didn't say a word to each other. We're just like, what? And we didn't turn the channel. And then we yeah, we, did. <laughs> we just left it on, and then we waited until the credits went over to try and hear was, Sammy Hagar's yeah, heavy yeah, metal, yeah. and they didn't. Play it. And, 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 so they must have played it at the beginning of the movie. It's almost like seeing your f- first pair of boobs for the first time. You're just like <laughs> you're just waiting, anticipation, anticipation, anticipation. Fuck! <laughs> no Sammy Hagar. Yeah. You figured they would play heavy yeah. metal again during the end credits, and that, they did it. Yeah, that's the only time <clears throat> I think that I watched the whole movie and credit or all credits. the credits until the whole movie was gone. Yeah, and you're just like, God damn it! Could we're, play it? we're looking at all the titles of the songs we're that like, were oh, played. Yeah, oh, 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 uh, <clears throat> Doom yeah. Brothers. Holy yeah. shit, there was a lot. Yeah. We should actually get that soundtrack. Yeah. It'll be the soundtrack of the song. Oh, we should get Willow. Oh. I haven't seen a movie anywhere. <laughs> okay. No, I haven't seen that. You know what movie you can't get? I don't I, really I've got it on DVD, but if you wanted to watch it streaming, you can't watch it streaming anywhere. It's Dogma, Kevin Smith. Oh, Dogma. Dogma. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't watch it because at the time it was released, it was one of the Weinstein things. Yeah. Where well, something within the name, too, the Dogma name. <clears throat> for, some, for some reason, I the, want to uh, Well, when it came out in theaters, the Catholic Church just, just absolutely flipped their bitch switch, you know, and attacked it and sued the Weinstein company. That fucking rapist. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it got uh, it got pulled from distribution, and Kevin Smith had been trying to buy the rights back from it himself, so mm-hmm. he could distribute it. And it was in a long discussion or you know arbitration, and then Weinstein went to jail, so it's probably never going to happen. But I got it on DVD before all that shit happened, so I got it upstairs. <laughs> What were we gonna do? Pizza and dogma. Dogma. <laughs> heavy metal. <laughs> and heavy metal. Fifteen seconds to midnight. I know that song. <sighs> what are we talking about? Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys miss baseball. <laughs> I, I miss the uh, Dairy Line more than I miss. I mean, yeah, I, don't get me wrong. I miss like our. I mean, you guys are like right there. Yep. Uh, yeah. And. Yeah, yeah, local baseball just to get out on a on Sunday? a Saturday or even like a Sunday, after yeah, work. Friday, yeah. or whenever there yeah. are tournaments or exhibitions, you know, whatever. We got plenty of towns around here we can go five miles this way and go to Cecil and watch the Mud Hens play somebody or right here in town watch yeah, the Broncos almost. play somebody. Yeah. But yeah, just that to get out and watch some baseball. Yeah. Something about the spring and not having baseball is depressing the fuck out of me. Well so it- and then I see now, as of today, the Legion now have canceled their 2020 season. The whole season? The whole yeah. season. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's Came fuck. out this today. They Dairyland hasn't said anything like Dairyland that. Dairyland has not done anything. Dairyland is meeting. BA, <clears throat> BA is... Dairyland would like to get a start by yeah. June 14th. That is their plan. But they are meeting here, I think, within the coming week. Um... To you know, figure out, I mean, there are certain parks that can. I would, I would think as soon as that safer at home thing goes away, people are gonna rev it right up and yep. be like, "We're going back to business as usual." Yep. And I hope they do. Yeah, no, I agree. Not playing the scarcity thing. Yeah. It, it's just, it's too costly the other way. It's too costly to, to people's mental health for fuck's sake. I was listening to a podcast where a guy. It, uh, it was in California where they were really strict, mm-hmm. where they were fucking, I, I, we talked about it on the last podcast, they were snitching on each other for leaving leaving their homes for, you know, hanging out with the other friends. <clears throat> but uh, they said the suicide rate's up by like seven times. He's like, he's like, I talked to a guy who's in the dispatch unit, and he's like, we used to get maybe, and, and it's a rural area in in California, sort of like, you know, any place in our county. 
He's like, we maybe get one or two suicide calls a week. We're getting like 20. Yeah, you don't, those are numbers you don't, you're not hearing about right now. No. You're not hearing no. about the suicide rate, the, you know, depression and how these... Uh, That's the main thing is the anxiety Think about and depression. It. Yeah. So many people in this world have anxiety. I want to talk to my buddy, uh Guaranteed. Scotty. I, I know that for a fact. He said he wanted to come on the podcast, but he just wanted to do it with me and him because he gets a little... He's got anxiety bad, so once he gets around more than two, three people, he just clams right up. Well, you let us know the day. Well, that's going to be his day. Well, no. He was just like, if it's just me and you, then I'll do it. So I might do a spinoff of just me and him. Cause... Just do it with him. Take a Saturday <clears throat> and spend it with him. Yeah. Because no him and his brother in a in the CBD business, So which he, it hasn't cured his anxiety, but it pretty much makes him a regular functioning member of society. It's always good to get your uh, feelings out, man. You know, I, I know that <clears> firsthand. I keep a lot of things bottled up. And it's oh, not guys, a good thing, man, because word. then you blow yes. off, and then you blow off the handle. Oh yeah, you I, lose your shit. The, uh, that's I've been doing that my entire life. Me too, so, up until recently. The one thing that that is the main thing. The one thing, the main mushroom uh, taught me. Oh jeez, <laughs> it's too hard. Uh, to whatever you are, feel. Uh, yeah, oysters. <laughs> <laughs> It was like hitting the, you know what it was like? It was like taking the Nintendo cartridge out, blowing on it, and hitting the top and resetting the game. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I like yeah. it. That's yeah. a good analogy. All right, now we're in business. There we go. Come on. Good old oyster mushroom. A, B, A, B. Up, up, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't wait for baseball, and I can't wait for... Fourth of July. I hope that's like the party of the summer this year because it's on a fr- Saturday. So we know Fourth of July is going to be. Everyone's going to be all like, "Yeah, freedom!" As you well, didn't fight for it in the past. Yeah, here, here, here. Ah, yeah, we're free Americans. Do I think that it's going to happen here? I the celebration. I don't think it will. I think it will. The only reason why I don't think it will happen is because the sponsorship sponsorships and that's where they're getting their money and. Well, maybe I'd, maybe that's I mean, where the I've village heard, steps I've in. Heard some people say, uh, or I would say, I've heard a lot of people say that they don't think it's going to happen um, because of that huge sponsorship thing, and they can't get the money. And but the only thing that that really sucks about it is, if the Fourth of the July thing does not happen, we have a corn roast. The corn roast then has to be canceled as well. Has to be. Yes. Why? Because uh, it has to do with some type of uh, congregating yeah, probably partnership thing, yeah. or something like that. Oh, We're, some sort of they, they might work in hand in hand between all yeah. the, the groups. You get your money from the fireworks, pay for the corn fest. You know, and I even look one at of the this. reasons why we have half, quote unquote, to bartend during Fourth of July, even right. though it's not our event. Yeah, but I mean, so <clears> but, we're uh, for those who weren't savvy, me and. Uh, Jeremy are part of the Lions Club here yeah. in our town, so we, we are known annual... for our corn. Yeah, okay. we're we're known for having a corn roast every year. We That's got a right. big old corn mobile that goes through the uh, parade. Yeah. I love that car. <laughs> I'm Nicky Mack. I live in Pulaski. I put a nickel in one of those corn mint things every time, and I take a package <laughs> out for a quarter. That's me. I'm that asshole. <laughs> you, you, you get you done with your haircut? Oh, a Lions mint thing. Sure, I got a quarter. <laughs> Give me some of them mints. So you, you know where those nickels are coming from? Don't worry, Lions. Hey, Lions Club, I'm going to buy you some black hats or something. <laughs> Fireworks. We got gold vests. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Flying tanks open to show up. <laughs> we actually made a lot of progress in the last couple of years for actually doing events right. So Yeah. It'd be a shame if we don't have it this year that's because that's one of the... Big like, money. The, yeah. Last year was pretty fucking huge because the weather was nice and it was on, uh, you know... Well, yeah. <laughs> the It's the first Friday in what, September? Yeah, first Friday in September. And or no, August. August. First Friday in and August. It, it happened on a good Friday. Was, yeah. Because... We, we had a, we did at first, we did brats, whatever, and uh, we had uh, old fashions flowing, we had drinks flowing. I was fucking beat from the heat on yeah. those grills, man. Yeah, and then after a while... It was my first year doing that. And this this would be, this was my second year. Um, well, this will be my third year now. Uh, in the lions, but last year then we decided to bring back the lion costume. Oh yeah, and I had to it's do like it. It's like a it's like a baseball mascot costume, yeah. right? It's a big lion. 
and it was like 90 degrees outside, 95. Well, I was hammered right when I put it on. <laughs> you were sweating your bag off, right? Oh, yeah. When I got done you with it. You ain't lying. When I got done with it. Yeah, I ain't lying. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, we should get shirts. We yeah, ain't awesome. lying. Uh, but yeah, I, t- uh, I probably like walked around. Shop it up. But you know, I thought about it at first. I was like, boy, this is a real smart idea. You have a guy who's uh, in a uh, lion costume going, hi, kid. Can they understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Hammered and 120 <laughs> yeah. pounds. Yeah. Just, uh, hey, mom, yet? After quit pulling my tail. Vegetables. Yeah. After about a half hour of doing it, I went from completely hammered to stone sober. I mean, it was like a sauna in there. Yeah. Yeah, you smelled like it too. I can't imagine what it smelled inside that costume. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, they, it supposedly uh, has a fan in the uh, head? Head, head part. And I go, Ooh. a fan? Like, yeah, what, like, like, like all you have to do is you plug in a diesel or a 9 volt battery. Oh, and then boy, it has like yeah. a little fan, yeah. And it's got like a so little. So some ventilation so yeah, it doesn't ventilation. die. Yeah. So finally, when I took it off, I realized that the battery was never plugged into it. And I go, what is up with this? And like, oh, that fan hasn't worked for 20, like 20 some years. I'm like, Curdy, you yeah. son of a bitch! I'm like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. This is like bad vision of like a real sh- like a huge fan, not like a plug-in fan, like a. No, it, no, it was just yeah. It was <clears> fancy your grandma's house. Well, they better wait till, man, they better wait till the end of June before they make a decision to cancel the Fourth of July. Well, and that's the thing. Well, I mean, eventually, what they have to do is they have to make their decision up uh, soon because if they were to end up having it, um, they would still have to go around and see if people would want to sponsor something. They, you know I mean, what? I bet you. That people would, if uh, you know you're part of the group, uh, celebrate Bondwell. Yeah. Get on Facebook, do a couple fundraisers. I guarantee you got to raise a... the money. Just to... forget about the uh, the uh, you know maybe you don't have as many bands as we used to have. Right. All we really need. I mean, you can DJ instead of having bands, mm-hmm. or somebody could DJ. Right. All you need is beer, food, raffles. Portable toilets. <laughs> That's all you yeah. really need for a fourth and the parade. But the parade really isn't, you know, there you don't pay people to be in the parade. It's all volunteer based yeah. anyway. That's all you really need. And I guarantee that doesn't cost the porta potties and the beer are gonna cost the most. Yeah. And I would I'm speaking out of my ass, but the whole thing might cost what, ten grand? And when you have people buying, you know, the beer and the food, even if you came out even, right. it's worth doing just to have the 4th of July celebration, yeah. in my opinion. So I just wish that, I mean, okay, so um, two or three, three years ago it was. So, and the 4th of July, and I'm not knocking any association or group, uh, but they've always had trouble with their liquor sales and the reason why that was is so uh, two years ago their coolers uh, the power all went out on half of the park so the and trailers so yeah so the trailers that they were having all the coolers in they, they were all, refrigerated they were refrigerated they all shut up <clears> so the beer was warm but they never even went to decide to go and check at any point you yeah. know because after a while they were like driving things it was still cold but it was still you know but right and <laughs> I say to this day, that was the one day, it was, it would be three years, uh, this 4th of July, um, is the first and only time that I've ever drank White Claw. And the reason why I say that, and may I mind you, I'm saying I drank White Claw before people wanted to start drinking White Claw. White Claw's White not Claw. bad, though. I mean, that's what I'll drink. But it's the stigma. Yeah. It, it tugs at my manliness. <laughs> yeah, well, that's <laughs> what, you but, want a fucking but, diet and you can't drink but, beer, you gotta drink White Claw. The reason, why, the reason why we were drinking White Claw, and I mean, it, it, there wasn't a lot of people at the park then because there ended up a storm went through and it really took the crowd away from the park. Yeah. So a bunch of us were all sitting there, I mean, it was... Me and a bunch of people were all sitting there drinking White Claw. And the reason why that was is because they had all the mic or all the spritzer drinks and stuff like that. Malt already, liquors. Yeah, malt liquors on ice inside uh, in the uh, the bar part. So that was already, that was no matter what cold. So we were just kept drinking that, kept drinking that. Well, then last year, um, their problem was is that they had uh, tall boys. They had the 24-ounce Yeah, beers. they were... And, they were charging five dollar five tickets 
Was which it? is no, they were charging. Yeah, it was, it was no, like, they were charging five. Yeah, five. Because then we charged four. Yeah. For the cornrows, because right. But the thing was that the cornrows, so we were selling normal cans. We yeah. weren't. We were selling the twelve ones, and we only did two tickets. It was. <clears throat> but yeah. see, here's the thing. For beer, their sales, yeah. About. And so their sales for the fourth of July, it went down because you're. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get people to buy tickets, okay? You, no matter what, you're going to wake up the next morning and be like, Oh, man. Like, yeah, you'll look and you like, get 20 tickets. tickets. But you went and already put your money into the association right. for the tickets. But what people, what was happening was is because they were the tall boys, those 24-ounce ones, a lot of people were not buying so many tickets. So they were like, you know, try to tell somebody that you're going to try to force them to slam a 24-ounce versus a 12-ounce. Yeah. I mean, you're going to get a lot more Because, sales. especially during the day, uh, your crowd is older. They're not college kids doing beer bongs, slamming 24-ounce cans of beer anymore. Give me a 12-ouncer. I'll walk around. I'll have another. I guarantee yeah. it. And it won't be warm in my hand. Whereas, well, you know, a big 24-ouncer, you're just like, ugh, screw this. And, and the thing is, too, is like, especially I've noticed, you know, and you probably have noticed this, too, as, as we've gotten older... A lot more people are just having, you know, people who are our age are all buying houses and stuff, and they're just having house parties instead versus going up to the bar, you know, because there's, you know. Well, people our age are going during the day before all the you know, younger generation like we used to do right. would close out the park and mm -hmm. just get hammered. Uh, so when when the sun sets and the fireworks start to go off, it's usually people in their early 20s yeah. just getting wrecked. Sure. Well, so, it's all uh, generational, you know. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't say you can't be 40 and get wrecked, but, but you're going to yeah. act a fool. Don't, like, uh, don't, uh, don't get 24-ounce beers just because yeah. you're doing that all day, too, and people our age aren't going to want a fucking 24-ounce beer at 3 in the afternoon. Yeah, and like you said, too, I mean. damn so. <laughs> I mean, after a while, and that's another thing. Like, thing like a 40-ounce white claw. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Do they make a 40-ounce white claw? Well, not yet, not okay. yet. Okay, because we're, we're talking about white claw. So I was at Quick Trip today, and as I was walking back into my car, I get in my vehicle, and I see this guy, this guy's big muscle-bound guy. This, He's got piercings all over. You can see his neck tats. Yeah, he eats ass from the back, no doubt. He's carrying, Dude, he's carrying out the yeah. variety pack <laughs> white claw. And I'm like, wow, your manliness really came out now. Sharon, get in the car. Did he have Let's a go. fan bun? He gave you a little bit of on tight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, he actually got into a Buick Enclave. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> In the back seat? Look at pants. Yeah. yeah. Sharon, get in the uh, car. In the back seat it's with the dead. dog. Yeah. Pick up some muscle yeah, milk. I, don't fucking feed into that fake nip thing that uh, I almost ran it. I almost chopped around you and get back in there. Just a tough guy. I mean, I wanted to take a picture and be like, "Wow, <laughs> this guy's really setting his." Uh... <laughs> you seem like an interesting fellow. Would you like to be on a podcast where we just rip you a new asshole? <laughs> sure. What time? I brought the white claws. <laughs> I baked some banana bread. Sorry, guys. You can't have the. Man <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can't have the mango. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> oh. yeah. I mean, but yeah. So, I mean, and like a lot of these, a lot of these uh, places that are now not having their fireworks festival. I couldn't see them. I, I mean, I could still see them wanting to have the fireworks. I mean, because a lot of them don't have like a lot of you know community celebrations like or during the time they just like they just do the fireworks. I don't like see why they couldn't do that. Yeah, just have the uh, at night. Yeah. Trust me, uh, places people will provide, and you're going to see, like, spot-up firework shows. You and... know what I would rather have? I'd rather have the 4th of July celebration without the fireworks. Than yeah, because you always got to stop. Like, like, you, you know, man, you got to say... Even a good fireworks it's show. It's a big thing for the kids. Right? Oh, yeah. It's but but as far as, you know, the else. community and everything, the parade, the the events at the park, the baseball games that happened during the day up at the park. Uh, and they didn't even have them last year. They had something, didn't they? No. Like a, a kickball tournament or... No, because like, didn't uh, your group did something during the 4th of July? I know the ball diamond was being... No, we did the, uh, the Cornell. Cornhole tournament. That's what they did. But that was no, that wasn't during the first. That was during, <clears throat> that was during the, the cornhole. So have your own thing. Do like a black cat throwing in the street tournament. You ever like you see oh, like so white black cats and throw them at each other? 
But That'd be yeah, way more fun. Roman candles. But the reason why the we reason why they weren't doing the baseball okay. thing Shh. is a lot of them they couldn't this. get the players to, or the teams that would want to play, which I don't blame. I mean, it's Fourth of July. I mean, do you? It's not like not it even the little league teams. No. Huh. My memory is sketchy. Though. They did the little league thing. They did the little league thing uh, during the corn roast. Okay. But not during. Fourth but of usually July. they'd always Fourth have of July, the Dairy Broncos. Land. Yeah, the Broncos, Broncos always played. Not the I, tournament, but no, they would always like because it's like an was, exhibition game. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and it was either against Navarino or Cecil or you know whatever, but yeah, because then their tournament started in the week after that, usually the sixth of July, wherever that Monday would be. Is when they and then we would spend all our money those weeks. Yep. Because <laughs> we would go to every single game at the Bronco tournament. Well, you would, you would come to a couple. I would of come. Them. I would come because you guys were there and yep. Shannon was coming through. Yep. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, and, uh, you know, to me, Bondawal always uh, will hold a special place in my heart. It's my favorite place to watch baseball. I think it's the way the whole setting is. I mean, yeah. the pavilion and all that, having a bar yeah. inside. Uh, it, it's Especially after. The pavilion the... and, you know, well, for me, they said the RBI baseball game, which is still there. Oh, World Series. Or World, World Series, Series baseball. Yep. Arcade game in the in the. Pavilion. So, you know, when you were a kid, I was big and like, Why I knew JC from when we were kids. Okay. I mean, he was a few years younger than me, but Ooh. our parents, my grandparents were... Every game we go to, I got Out. to know JC pretty well. Yep. Um, well, it, so, you know, you got that bond. Uh, you know, my grandpa always respected Johnny yeah. uh, and vice versa. So, you know, there's a lot of good memories that are there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, all so, the Little League games I used to play up there. Yeah. I was playing for Cecil. Um, we never played a bundle. We never. No. Uh, our team's never played a bundle. We played, no. yeah, we played Cecil. We played uh, Nichols, Navarino. Um, Shano. Shy Octon, I Shy Octon, yes, Shy Octon. Who's the kid, who's the kid pitcher from Black Rick Scotty? And like the fucking mullet. And uh, where I was like, oh, you know, like, smart ass kids. Well, know, beat me up, Scotty, man. We used to shell him all the time. And, like, <laughs> yeah. and his dad was the bitch. And, like, come on, Scotty. Come on, Scotty. And we are like, like, Get dude, that giant cotton candy out of my face. Like, dude, my like, God. <laughs> hey, you in the like, front with the cotton candy. You know, you know, you feel bad for him because the dad wanted it more. You know, the kid was yeah. decent, but he got shelled. I mean, we, won, we were a great team. We won a lot of games. Yeah, you know. Uh, and, but then we talked. Well, at least I talked mad shit. This is what I did, you know. I, uh, I wasn't good enough to talk mad shit. <laughs> I was just a fat I was baseman. either leading off or hitting three, man. That was it for me. I was, I was very three. good when I was I was hitting three 13, or four. 14 years old. Because I was a power hitter because I was, you know. I used a wooden bat in uh, Little League when everybody else was using aluminum because I was a big, strong kid. And well, I just like, because I always what, used Were you trying to impress Yamish or what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get me were a you wife. To land you a freaking Yoda? Uh, <laughs> come on, baby. I need Show you what I got. Make me some pies. Come on, baby. I'm going to smack them down third and you're going to. Crack some of them goddamn hands all over there. It, did, sound, it, it did sound awesome when I connected, though. That crack of the bat, it just felt so good. I had, it was a Fred Lynn Louisville Slugger, where they had the different ball players on. They I had took their... rolls over a guy's head one night and it split. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a lie. I had a I had a black <laughs> Willie Mays bat, and uh, the one that I always used was Fred Lynn. I think he played for the Phillies or the Reds. One of those, he was a great hitter. He was like a Carl Yastrzemski type okay. player. Good story, boy. Go ahead. Keep on. That was about the end of my story. <laughs> Good story, boy. I, I Mays. used to win bat in Little League. <laughs> uh, my grandpa wore Willie Mays' number before he went to the Giants. My grandpa played uh, Darlene Valdosta, Georgia, um, uh, Peanut League. Um, but he had Willie Mays' uh, jersey number, 24. That was his number. He was a pitcher. Mm -hmm. But he had it before Willie Mays. He's like, well, that was my number. Yeah. Uh, before, you know, so it's like, not really even a claim to fame, but he's like, well, my grandpa never talked about those things. He would just subtly say them. Oh. So, interesting fact. Trying to one-up you. No. Nah, <laughs> shit, man. My grandpa's never a one-upper, man. Uh, there, there are he some... could, though, man. When he wanted to, he could, though, because he used to bury me all the time. I know. There, you ever... All you had to say was, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You <laughs> run into people like that once in a while who are real quiet. Who have lived a life that you have no idea because they're so quiet, and then once in a while they'll tell you a fucking unbelievable yeah, just... true story, and you're like, "I got nothing." Nothing, <laughs> man. Like, <laughs> I guess I got to get out there. Uh, yeah, you're right, BD. They're uh, yeah, 
We need to get one of those humble, guys down here. Yeah, they're humble, and unless they get asked about something specific... Or push to it. Like, or push to it, know, they're not going to tell you the goods. Yeah. You're right. Very, very humble. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine... Kid, you want to hear about the time that I took down 63 Nazis with my M16? Yeah. You had an M16? With the, what, what are you... What? Are they neo-Nazis? I don't know. <laughs> Was it some sort of murder? Yeah, I'm trying to make... <laughs> Uh, if you would have said Tommy Gun, I would have been you, totally space, on board. Tommy Gun, oh, really? Space Traveler, hey, yeah. what's going to happen? Hey, say hello to my little friend with the Tommy Gun. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm just saying, could you feel like you kids <laughs> want to hear a story about how your grandpa, you know. With the M16? The time travel night you are? Yeah. Yeah. What was, oh, shit. What was that time traveling movie that... What about the movie, man? What about this, there's this guy that has like uh, videos on uh, YouTube. He's like, yeah, that's the year 2020. It's Los Angeles. More facilities are going upwards. Well, no shit. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 and his buddy's just like, doesn't want to be on camera, but you can't even cut him out because he's fucking mad. Guy with a... And they're, all like, like, they're like sitting there uh, like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Some He's YouTube like, guy? Or what? Yeah, look it up. We gotta get like a split screen where we can like draw things up onto the thing here. That'll come in time. Yeah. So we can or, like. We well, can, actually, we can, like, if you class- grab the remote, I can. Uh, so we can just watch it over there because a lot of times, just like with the there music, a lot of times with the music copyrighted, you can't show other YouTube videos All or right, they'll get pulled. I'm, I'm gonna try so, and search for it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be easy to find. Yeah. Uh, uh, time Traveler. <laughs> there. This guy's fucking rich. That's always... I don't know why that's such a subject that people love all the time. Like, why would you... I, I wouldn't want to fucking travel back in time. I wouldn't want to relive all the fucking dark memories I've gone through. Like, <laughs> we're gonna get, Do you remember that Family Guy episode? We're where stuck here because this guy. Has, whatever, and then yeah, went, Stewie and Brian went back to go find uh, uh, Germany. What, yeah, the go get Mort. Oh, yeah, the Jewish guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the cow says, Shazoom. <laughs> Oh, guys, I think I need to do my taxes. <laughs> that guy? Yeah. <laughs> you use, or you watch uh, Back to the Future about ten times a week, you said? At so. least. <laughs> At least. I've been on two really hard. Oh, that, be... uh, two is my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just I mean, seen that they put all up. those back on Netflix yep. because yep. everybody's at home binging. They put all three movies on Netflix now. They're not going to put yeah. this one on here. It's not on here. It's on, uh, God, man. If I could turn back time. Time traveling bong. (laughs) (laughs) What? What was that fucking song? If I could turn, is that Cher? Fleetwood Mac? No, that's Cher. Cher. Okay. Remember she was on the uh, Navy ship? Oh, on that Navy ship. That big old old fuck me suit. With the... Yeah, the fishnets and the roses yeah. tattooed on her ass and yeah. her cheeks. And that was after like, Rocky Dennis died. She yeah. became a real whore. <laughs> Straddling that big fucking... They, she, uh, or, uh, she was cannon, sitting on that, that rocket cannon, ship yeah. getting that rocket. Like, they were, like, shooting it right in her. Like, it was no big deal. <laughs> the big old, big old cannons. How... B- <laughs> I, it was like throwing a cannon on a hallway. Not to objectify <laughs> women. Well, but if you're... She but if, to Rocky Dennis, for Christ's sake. If you're... <laughs> If you're dressed up, zilch. fishnets <laughs> around a bunch of naval, just sailors everywhere. I mean, that's like the running joke. Be like, right, hey, sailor, how Put you doing? On. Put it on the thing. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. I gotta mute it, but yeah, you ain't gotta mute it. Yeah, we yeah. well, so it yeah, isn't. It's so cool. it isn't on camera. Yeah, well, you're uh, sure so cooked up under my shit. What's going on? <laughs> and if you are, hey, share. Come to Bondo for the fireworks. She's got. <laughs> <laughs> they just drag her out of a trailer. <laughs> it's not time yeah. for the fireworks. Get back Wait. in your hole. So you're going to see Wait. Johnny out right hey. out there with his uh, jock strap. <laughs> I didn't know. No, hey. Hey. I didn't know Black Cher. Black out of his jock strap? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Cher saw like Michael McDonald. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go, BD. I'm fucking, I'm fucking stoked there, man. Let's it's got to go. be one of the top you videos. Just, yeah, you just pass it. Isn't that yeah, which it was one? the second one. It was the second nah. one. Yeah. Right there. I think the one is past uh, Cher on the battleship. Right. Oh, oh, there, there it, it is. is. There it is. 
But, uh... Turn it up. No! Right. Don't turn it up. Turn it up? You ain't sure you're gonna come after us? Oh, Look at that battleship! It's not gonna be Cher that sure. comes after us. It's gonna be the algorithm on YouTube yeah. that just pan, goes... Pan the camera over so everyone can get a good view. No, you can't show it either. Otherwise, there we'll get comes. pulled. Alright, we'll turn just, it up at least. Just surrounded by sailors. We'll give a play-by-play. -play. Yeah. I got knee-high stockings with fishnets around my thighs, That's not the... a leather jacket, wait till I pull it off and show you all my tits. Well, that wasn't the first time she Her had Her son, some... Rocky Dennis, is the anchor. Well, that... <laughs> that wasn't the first time she had all that semen around her. Ah! <laughs> I haven't seen this many semen since Chippendales Look got back that. together. Oh my that. god. How many sailors do you think that is? Um, is there any even any guys in her band? Yeah, that's she. Okay, this is where Borat got the idea for his <laughs> for his bikini costume. It was Cher underneath that leather jacket. <laughs> there it is, straddling Run that the big cannon. cannon. I walked in my mom like that one time. Ah, uh, <laughs> forever unclean. <laughs> That wasn't the first time either. Look at that. Yeah, thong fish nuts. Oh, I'm it's pretty sure she has something. Hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at those sailors. Where's Maverick and Top Gun? Where, they were in going? the Air Force. They told these guys oh, to go fuck themselves. Oh, man, it's the Navy. Those guys are in the yeah. Navy. No, they weren't. Yeah. 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 With the what? They were the, they were the Navy. What is it? Like what? the Blue Angels? Who? No. Top Gun wasn't Top the Navy. Top Gun was in the Navy. No, they were? No, it was Air Force. Top Gun was in Navy. Mm. Naval Academy. Get on your phone. We need you're to. You're gonna have to edit this because you're gonna look fucking stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, show him the board. <laughs> Number one is Navy. United States Air Force. Shit. Or United States Navy. <clears throat> Marines. No, that was. Well, the Navy owns the Marines. They're like a higher version of the Marines. The Navy is the highest of the high. Is it? I thought everybody oh. gave the Navy shit. Here's the thing, I mean, because we're talking about it, Tom, Gru Tom Cruise sparked the Top Gun feud between Navy and Air Force. Well, wow. wow. <laughs> interesting. Read us more while we watch Cher f um, okay, trip over so, on anyway, leather. Unfortunately, yeah. it works off of the land. Like, they all, like, the Navy is the, the hierarchy of the three. Okay, so fucking drop boats and actor Tom seconds. Cruise promoted a good nature Twitter spat between the U.S. Air Force and Navy on Thursday after posting a photo of celebrating the planned sequel to his iconic film. Is uh, it going to be called Top Gun 2? Uh, Maverick. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see a preview where they put the two military branches have squared off over a picture that shows Cruise in a character as a Navy pilot, uh, in which it appears to be an FA. 18 Hornet. Feel the need, which is so. So the Navy and the Air Force have different jets that they fly. Right. Okay. Er, yeah, I, I mean, Top Gun was created to address the Navy's poor. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 hang on. Nicky Here Mac it is. Got points. Yeah, you do. Just for that, you can sit there today. No, you're going to sit there yes. for the rest of the show. That's your like new spot. The entirety. <laughs> um, Welcome to your new hole. Top Gun was created to address the Navy's poor air to showing, or poor air to the showing in Vietnam. Huh. The Air Force has a red flag, which includes a wide range of mission types. That includes. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah. So anyway, Top Gun was about Navy pilots. Right. right. And now that you say that, you are whatever because my uh, cousin who was in the Navy, they actually. Now that you said you are. Uh, they did the uh, movie on, on, the, on the ship. Oh, yeah. They used aircraft carriers. So. Yeah. You, Do the, the U.S. Navy controls the Marines. The Marines are essentially, I thought call they, them Navy SEALs, mm -hmm. but they are Marines. Well, Navy SEALs are a separate unit than yeah, Marines, right? I, yeah. I thought they're, they were. They're, uh, well, they have to you know, be because the, the Navy is the hierarchy. Yeah. It's not a Navy SEAL. Yeah, the Navy, Navy is the hierarchy. Yeah. Out of, out of, I thought the Marines branch. were, though. They're not. The well, Marines, you know that they always had the same for Marines first in, last out. Uh, Sci-fi, yes. No, the Marines work else. under the, the Marines are basically like a branch of the Navy. So, like the, the United States Marine Corps, United States Navy Corps. I like have that. to look it up. It's or true. talk to my buddy who is a Marine. And we'll he'll, he'll, he'll tell he'll, me that he's the top of the top. So yeah. No, he'll else. drag you in. And he'll tell you the same. Well, thing. I mean, I look at it this way. Either way, I mean, 
I mean, to anybody that's fought or is fighting. Oh, yeah. They're <laughs> braver, to you. braver than me. Yep. Hey, cheers to you as well. If it's not for you, we wouldn't be able to be doing I'll stuff I'll hide like in this. the woods and hunt my own food. <laughs> you know. Oh, mountain man, huh? <laughs> Pretty Where? much. Oh, oh look at him, mountain man. Hey. <laughs> look what I found over there. I found me a chipmunk. Not, the, uh, not to switch it up, I'll but tell this you is a true story. This guy that my, my best friend, I stood up in his wedding, Ryan Swat McGee, guy took me to Belize. We're saying names again. Or is anything bad? Well, as long as it's not incriminating. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, coming to find out, this girl that we know was dating him for a while. So I get to talking to this guy a couple times, and we were down in Milwaukee, not at the wedding. I didn't find this out in Iowa. He married a chick from Iowa. Um, but uh, down at uh, what, what's the what's the uh, the Paps Bar right there on um, down by the stadium. Oh, cray and all that. Uh, Kelly's, Kelly's bleachers. bleachers. Yeah. Right. Uh, and it tells me that Mountain Man is my dad. The guy from Duck Dynasty. Oh. That's what you guys are talking about? No, Mountain no, Man. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, Mountain Man is like another show. I mean, I've not, I've right. like, I probably like But anyways, Mountain Man, the guy episode. from that show, you know, he's like, he talks like that too. Like, well, I don't oh, know. Yeah, he's he yeah. Sounds he's like, like he's been drinking moonshine since <laughs> yeah. 8 a.m. Yeah, man, but this guy's his dad. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And he's like, no, man, no shit. And you're like, Here's him hanging out like multiple places. I'm like, well, either your second is Wiener or <laughs> my man is really your dad. I'll... Either like, you went what else to would great... you want to hang out that guy for? Either you... dad. Yeah, either you went to great lengths but... to to associate yourself with a C level celebrity or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or you're telling the well, truth. Well, no, I mean, so... if you think about it, you're going to do something that's maybe it sounds believable because, like, I think you really can't do research on it that much, then. Yeah, how much research or how yeah. much information is there? I mean, you're not gonna, a guy who lives nothing, off the grid. Yeah. The guy had nothing. He had nothing to hide. I mean, he was yeah. a good guy. I mean, he, he was a real nice just guy. On it. Yeah, you could be like, you know, Jesse the Body Ventura is my father. Mm. Oh, <laughs> how, how do you know that? How do you know that? I never had a son in my life. <laughs> Dad, you are his son. <laughs> I tell people Cameron Dermer's my I'm Cameron Dermer's son. Like, no way, you can't drink two cases of bush light. Yeah, it's right, I'll drink a one Watch five me. of Tito's. <laughs> Everybody does a Christopher Walken, so I don't yeah, we'll edit that Christopher part Walken. Too. Edit that one up. Oh for sure. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh before you were talking about uh I, I heard this too that the Bucks possible trading Giannis for giving up his giant contract. Because they've got a really good team around him, but I don't think they're going to do that I don't because see them doing it. the guys who took over for Herb Cole are the opposite of Herb Cole. Yep. They, oh yes, that's who you're asking about was Herb before. Yeah, yeah, like when Herb Cole had it, you know, he brought in, he drafted Glenn Robinson and Ray Allen, Ray Allen, Vin Baker. But he never. Those aren't guys you're building teams around. Right? Yeah, but if you look what he did, but, I mean, those he guys are screwy. Yeah, he mean. But he, these guys are sort of the same guys. Yep. At heart, that Antanasio is for the Brewers. He wants everybody to stay there forever. Right. Because so they see do... how loyal like the fan base is, like all of yeah. us. Like, hey man, well, you put a book. You, you know what? For the box, it's hard for us because we live two hours away. Two it's and still, half. I mean, you gotta go down there. You hey, gotta it's a lot better than was twenty years ago to, to try to get down there. Stay. Uh, you know, it's and basketball isn't really. Our thing, it, you know. I mean, it has the Bucks are good because, and they're good. Now we'll support it. Exactly. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't. I ain't no blowhard Bucks fan. Me I, and I hate. I, um, and I hate the NBA today. Yeah. Right? But am. you know what? I'll tell you. I you got a damn good product down there. Yeah. So I will say, they'll support it. What Their they, tickets are more than Packer tickets. Yeah. Well, it's so and you know I just went to the. Thank, thankfully, we got to go right before that. This whole. They shut the NBA season. We went February 15th. No, not February. Uh, February 28th. February 28th, we went against them. And that's when they played the Oklahoma City Thunder. And yeah. they killed them. I mean, they Durant. were up by 50 at one point. No, because Durant's with Brooklyn. The only... Oh, shit. That's how much I watch the yeah. NBA. But anyway, uh, Oklahoma. So like, I don't watch it. Yeah. I watch the last dance and be like. But, I mean, like, Pfizer Forum. <laughs> Pfizer Forum. <laughs> Pfizer Forum is just. Um, it is. I mean, if you've been at the Bradley Center, which I'm sure you have, Bradley Center, it was huge, but it was just poorly designed. And, I mean, especially if you had the upper seats. You were in the nosebleed seats. You were like this, watching the game, and then you had to make sure that if you were hammered, you weren't going to go and fall over on whatever, because the (laughs) the steep steps, you know? But, I mean, the way that they built this stadium now, the, the legit... 
side of things that they made it is because they wanted no matter where you sat, you felt like you were right there. Or and you had a, a yeah. And that's exactly how they and now that entertainment district that they're building all around it, I mean they're almost finished with it, but I mean it looks phenomenal. I haven't been done there for a long time. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's In that area I haven't I but I, I tell you I watched more NBA basketball this past year than I have since Jordan. Right. So, uh, you I know, mean, well, it's just, you know, gains your <clears> interest. But here's the thing. You watch them early on. The thing with the Bucks, I don't think they ever really changed. So, I think they're a good team to watch because, you know, a lot of teams are shitty to watch. Well, the Bucks like, wrong, you know what I mean? Like, they actually run some type of offense. It's not. Yeah. You understand, too, this game is different. And now, everybody's bigger. They're, they're lankier, bigger, well, stronger. You know, you play soft D, you play zone D. A lot of people. A lot shot. of soft shit. You ain't now. seeing. Yeah. You ain't seeing people driving to the rack, pulling up on a ten footer. I mean, you we don't see that no more. No, well, we had the big guys back when, like, I was a kid and watched because he had. Well, when Shaq first came in, you still had guys like David yeah. Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, absolutely, Charles Barkley, who was just a fucking beast. The Kendi Montumbo. <laughs> but Barkley wasn't only. Like, well, Barkley wasn't. <laughs> no, Barkley wasn't really like. Barkley was like an it was like an anomaly, man, because he could play any position on the court. You know what I mean? He'd take it up, point the guard, drive it, slam it home. Yeah. But like but, you know, he was not But that's the last time I really watched uh basketball was, you know, during that era, I think I stopped watching basketball, you know, when Shaq went to the Lakers. Because I didn't give a fuck anymore because the rules the rules didn't change, but they stopped calling traveling. They stopped yeah, calling, like, or they started calling fouls. Like, you're right, the rules did that, and then the rules there did was, change, BD. When the I don't remember when, when the, the rules changed, changed to limit the big man. So they wanted like the big man out. So like your well, Elijah the Wands, would flop then to his ball, and they would your call Shacks, it. Yeah. These guys, they became the rules changed to eliminate the big man from the game. What, yeah, when the hack a shack shit started, yeah. so, when they are like, the we rules, can't stop them. We got to follow the fuck out of them. And because they started following the fuck out of them, other guys would flop on those same, you know, checks and stuff. And now we got the LeBron James of the world who fucking you fake like you're gonna charge at him, and he oh, fucking falls backward like he got punched in the nose. Yeah, cocksuckers. I can't stand LeBron James when everybody when anybody Big LeBron says LeBron zero fan here. I don't rate LeBron on my top ten. I mean, he may be a great LeBron. Player LeBron's talent. a good player. I will say he's a good player. He's but great he's... and he's athletic, but he's a fuck face, man. Uh, you want to look at what Michael Jordan does when you see Michael Jordan right now well, in this last dance? And that's dude, the, I'm just, waiting for all of them to come out so I can watch it. Dude, it picture. just stomps like those guys. Right. But I'm just, I really hope the world realizes. Man, I'm sick and tired of that. I'm, so I'm sick of them right, always trying was. to go, well, who's the best player in basketball? Is There's it Jordan no, or LeBron? And it's like, it ain't, no. man. Okay, you Jordan, can say, maybe you Kobe, can say LeBron. Maybe, 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 maybe. You can say LeBron is now or whatever, that he, no, at, no. or at a certain time he was you the best player in the NBA. Not all time. No, no. See, whenever. When sports comes up and anybody says the best ever, I, I I hate that argument because when you play in different eras, your talent is graded differently. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to talk about the greatest quarterbacks of all time, Sammy Baugh uh, revolutionized football with the forward pass because he was good at it. What about Unitas? Or Unitas with his... He you had know, Peyton Manning like he was the first the quarterback field. ever to throw four thousand yards. <clears throat> yeah, Think about that. So, sure. so how do you measure him in that era versus a bunch of quarterbacks who couldn't do what he could do? So obviously he was the best in that era. How do you compare him to Joe Montana you and then Joe Montana to Tom no, Brady? There's no comparison because so, the game has gotten so when they call Tom Brady faster, the, stronger, the especially goal. on the offensive side, you got Tom Brady's not the goal. I mean, yeah, he is. He is. Uh, in uh, this, in this, uh, like since the Favre era, yeah, he's he's probably the best. Yeah, oh, well, him and Payton, it would probably be between him and Payton. Yeah, see, here's I mean, the thing it, about... but it would be between those two quarterbacks. So there is, I there is Joe no... Montana. Well, that's a era before. Yeah, you know, he was gone before. Uh, you Manning put Montana Tom. with them, but see, he had Rice. Well, and no, I'd I'll put... tell you, I'll put Jerry Rice in well, my top five I, all put... time, all time. Jerry Rice is close, and he's not five. For wide receivers, yeah. just just all time, I was just, all I was time just... athletes, man. Jerry Rice was. I put Sterling like... Sharp in front of him. Get out. Of Herschel time. Walker was a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, crazy. As far as athletes, he went. He was an MMA fighter afterwards. He was yeah. a little bit crazy in the head, but 
you know, Bo Jackson was a hell. Dude, don't oh. even get me started with Bo Jackson. I loved him so much. Yep. And for him to get hurt like that against the fucking Bengals. Uh, <laughs> Whatever, we gave you Brett Favre, so quit your fucking crying. The Falcons gave us Brett Yeah, Favre. the Falcons, yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. How do you think, how do you think uh, Mikulski got hurt against the oh, Bengals? Oh, okay, you're going that route. No, okay, and I'm going to say this right now. Whatever. I say to this day, do you want to know who helped revamp the Packers franchise? Don the Magic Man Mikulski. Do you want to know what? He could see into the future, and he saw something. I mean, he faked his injury, and he looked. If you ever watch, oh, Don the Magic Man Mikulski goes like this. Good old number seven, pulling the rabbit out of his hat. Looks right at Brett Favre and goes, you got this, boy. We're supposed to be talking about space travel in next episode. <laughs> We'll wait till we'll wait till the next episode to oh. drop the space travel. On. But yeah, uh, Anthony Dillwig. No, <laughs> well, <laughs> long, string start of, long string of ass cheeks quarterbacks yeah. along the way. But anyway, back to what I was saying is like you have to have like certain. If you were to say best uh, quarterbacks by era or by decade, I could listen to an argument. But when you talk about a hundred year period and try and say the top five quarterbacks, you yeah. can't do it because. You can't compare Sammy Baugh to Tom Brady. You can't compare John Unitas to Brett Favre. Mm -hmm. I won't. I won't put Brady in my top five. Well, see, because I don't call you, rings. What I mean about top five, top five, what for when? You know, it doesn't matter. We're talking, uh, you know, a. a I don't like the all-time argument. I guess it's, it's a tough one. I will say it's, this though: it's it's an unwinnable argument. There's, there's you gotta go certain... off the guys from the '80s because they're kind of in the in between. Mm -hmm. So I Marino. Mean, and uh, Montana definitely got to be there. Where do you put a guy like Sammy Ball then? Yeah. Where do you put Johnny Unitas? On the bottom end of those two. See, I have to split an era. And I probably don't put Favre anywhere in that top five. Where do you put Dave Craig? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the saying. bottom of my fucking card collection. Where do you put uh, <laughs> Jeff Blake? <laughs> hey man, I'll tell you what. I got a shirt. The Bengals were excited. Okay, this is all you do realize Dave Craig? I think he's back to Wausau. Says, we got that eight and eight. We got that. We got that shake and Blake magic. Eight and eight with Blake. That Come guy. on, buddy. Hell, the Bengals were so bad in the nineties. They were so excited they made t-shirts as they were eight and eight. Oh, That's a true story. And I got the t-shirt the program. That's the big head Jeff Blake with the little body. Um, hey, are you, cannon he dropping He had a cannon yeah, for he did. Yes, he did. I met, and I'll tell you, I met Jeff Blake at uh, at um, uh, Appleton at the uh, Paper Valley. Oh. So we just going on there for autographs, right? Big crowd, big crowd on him. And some dude like bumped me like, hey, man, get the fuck off me. And Jeff Blake is like, back of the line. And I'm looking at this guy like, yeah, I'm going to fucking you. get to the back of my like, <laughs> And he points at me, and I'm like, yeah, you. He's like, I don't accept swearing. He's like, that's unacceptable. I'm like, fuck it, threw my fucking shit on the ground. You're, eight, you're not even eight and eight yet. You're like, I, I threw my shit on the, on the ground. Blake. I don't care, man. I was like, I was like 14 years old. Like, dude, you're <laughs> Jeff Blake, man. I got Boomer's Auto. I got Munoz. Like, you're a bum, bro. Serious. Speaking of that, I, I was you, a prick uh... back then. Are you gonna get? I, a, I guess forty. I would have been like, "Fuck you, you little kid." Are you gonna get an Andy Dalton Cowboys jersey? <clears throat> or is he dead rocket? to you? Andy Dalton is uh, probably you know Munoz and Weish and Boomer. Those guys are my idols growing up. I really do like Andy Dalton. I know. I'd say I always liked him too. Yeah, uh, Munoz you know, is a you know, you know, I stand behind Dalton, and uh, that's just a bad organizational <laughs> move for them. Uh, I will stand by Dalton. I'm not a traitor. I can't give up on the Bengals, but I'll tell you. Social media has made it hard to like realize just how dumb a fan base is. Oh, for sure. And that fan base, I mean, you're dealing with Northern Kentucky, uh, Cincinnati. Uh, it's a good city. I like it. Oh, for the Bengals but, fan man, base? what a bunch of fucking morons. They can't spell for the life of them. <laughs> None of them. None of them. This motherfucker has profile picture to be like in a suit and tie, and he's talking like he's like out oh, here trying to sell you some fucking hay. <laughs> like you can't, you can't do it. So you know, I get down there and you know, I like to drink. So I, I'm passionate about the Bengals, and sometimes a little bit too passionate. Oh yeah. And a lot of hate, man. You know, when you go two and fourteen, that's not what you expect. Yeah. Um. So. No, I am a big Andy Dalton guy, and I wish uh, Andy Dalton well in, in uh, Dallas. And I think that starting job should be his. Did you? They, they will win more games with Andy than they did will Did you see Dak, that meme you. that was going around that was like Dak Prescott? And I was like, 
him saying a couple statements and it was like four tiers going down and I was like uh so the first tier he was like I'm the best quarterback in the NFL yeah. and it was like Tom Brady saying like yeah 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 and, no. it went down. and then it went down to the bottom he's like well I'm the best quarterback on my team and it was Andy Dalton go like think again asshole <laughs> yeah it went down I was like I'm the best I'm the I'm best the I'm the best quarterback in the NFC East and they went back huh. down to like they had like four tiers and yeah, it was like, like Andy like, Dalton's like e that red ass <laughs> Dude, that was like, my favorite meme. Dude's about. got hair that matches his jersey, man. You know what? The fans really want to beg on Andy. That's one thing I wish that happens. I, I hope that uh, Andy... The Packers could have fucking Andy Dalton. I, I I'm hope, telling you. I hope that Red Rocket ends up out, you know, out practicing or, you know, just out plays Dak Prescott, and bam, he's the starter. From and the contract he's got? Mr. I want more than $31 million a year. They ain't worth that. No. no nobody is. Worth nobody that, is. Man. Nobody is. Rodgers wasn't worth his goddamn contract, I, and I don't care. You, I'm worth it. I'll risk it. I like, I like the self-esteem. I mean, Seventh grade confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, no, here's the thing, no part of, no, no player, I mean, I understand, but I mean, they are so protected against the court, or, you know, with the quarterback that you, you it there, seems, no player is worth that kind of no, money in any sport. No. Uh, That's why when, remember, no, 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 I don't, if I were to put a cap on any, think of the greatest player in the greatest sport, like. What comes to mind is like Jordan, right? For right. NBA, it's an argument that's. Ha- but for people our age, if they're thinking who's the greatest athlete they've ever seen dominant in their sport, Jordan's pretty much, yeah. you know, in the top three. People before us might have said like Muhammad Ali in boxing, you know. So how much do you think Ali's the- my guy? That's my boy. So how much do you think someone like that, who is considered the greatest of all time in their sport? Which I, again, I hate that fucking moniker. But how much do you think a year they're worth? I right. would say no more than ten million right. a year. I don't care if you're the best at what you're doing at the time. And you well, think... the revenue per is different, man. Well, oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, you're t- I'm talking. You're nothing more than an actor on a stage, man. Yeah, you're nothing more than a guy <clears throat> behind a movie theater. But you look at it this way no. then too. I mean, these these. But thirty-one million a year. He's no, not worth that. Superstars, yourself. but super. Peyton Manning worth that. Rogers, I don't know. That, Rogers not where the yeah no goes. and and you like that Christian not Yelich? even a year Christian Yelich was this year oh Christian no that was ridiculous too no I I'm think glad he's no, here and I'm no, not a no, man no I, no I no the reason why I like the Yelich deal and the reason why is because he could have said screw it after his whatever if he continued on what he's doing. He could have went to another team, and you know damn well the Yankees would have swept oh, them off yeah. right away, okay? And he a would huge have, ass contract, he would have been horrible. a $500 million contract, okay? But you want to know what? He wanted to take the small town discount, and then that's what I liked about him. He wasn't, he's not selfish. Well, the other thing is, if he would have mo- take all the, you know, the hometown good feeling right. thing about it, to live in Milwaukee is to live, like, cost of living in Milwaukee yeah. compared to the cost of living in New York or, City or Los uh, Angeles uh, or, New or Los Angeles. Angeles. Like, yeah. It's probably like $10 million at least right there. So, I mean, I'm sure his agent or him put that into consideration. Right. And on top of that, what's the cost of not having to deal with the New York media yep. who is they, ballistic with their sports yes. teams? So They watch you like a hawk. Uh, I think the peace of mind of playing in Milwaukee and still getting a shit ton of money is is well, well worth it for him. I mean, because you got to look at it because, I mean, before that, Ryan Braun was the one that had that ever the biggest contract in Brewer history. And yeah, he's, he's on his last year. Well, okay, and I, I understand this. I'd much rather okay. have had Prince Fielder. Okay, yes. And, and, and I know Prince okay. As much as I, I wanted, Prince as much Fielder. as I wanted Prince, and Not I understand chubby that. Chubby guys. There's no hey, chubby guys in baseball as much, anymore. As much, There's a reason for that. Yeah, there hey, is. fuck off. Bartolo Colon. <laughs> is he still playing? <laughs> I think Me and Robert were talking about well, that. Well, shit, man. He hasn't. <clears throat> he's got a reason to stick on the team. He's all. <laughs> if he's on a team, he's getting paid right now. I, <laughs> nothing was better than watching him actually go and hit one time into the gap, which would easily. Us, we could admit this is the double, body of an athlete. But he, he <laughs> Bartolo Colon. But Bartolo Colon just walked to first base because he's like, I ain't gonna waste the energy. I gotta go out and pitch. Yeah, I do. But, uh, uh, 
you know, and you never know what would have happened. I mean, but let's just say if we would have gave Prince Fielder the big contract instead of Ryan Braun. Okay, and let's just say that the yeah. injury would have happened to him. Now you're out of that, whatever. Because, yeah. I mean, what, how long did they say that Prince Fielder is going to be getting paid yet? He's still going to be getting paid yet for a while. Well, after after he retired, yeah. uh, what was it, six more years? Yeah. So I don't know when that was and so, when I mean, that'll end. But and this is Braun's last year on the no contract. no Bobby Bonilla contract. <laughs> <laughs> Came until twenty third, twenty six, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. What is a million dollars a year? Yeah. For... But that they did the same thing with Christian Yelich though too. Did they? Yeah, but they, yeah, but it's like nothing hardly. It's not compared to that. No. Not like fifty years. <laughs> Boy, Bobby Bonilla, you're living lavishly after all these years. There's a couple of those guys that got those contracts, like like. Just living. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to, but I know that it it's was almost like a pension contract. Well, they're getting pension due on top of that. From the MLB? Yes, man. Hmm. Those guys get money, too. Well, but, you know, we were talking about, like, these contracts. I mean, that's just what they're getting from the team. That's not including endorsements that they're getting oh. on top of everything. And now, and then they go to those autograph signings. Yep. And you know what? Jordan made in the NBA wasn't pissed today, man. Like, all He got more money from his Coca-Cola and Nike just, than he it's did. It's just insane, it's, man. All right? Is that, how, how crazy insane is that? Here. The Milwaukee Brewers will pay Christian Yelich until 2042. Now here, now listen. Wait till you see exactly how much they have to actually pay him. Okay. okay. Um, Give me the figures, Hollow. Okay. Uh, he will... Okay, so this is... Milwaukee will be paying Christian Yelich until 2042 when the All-Star outfielder is 50 years old. Yelich's $215 million nine-year contract uh, with the team... Uh, a four million uh, defer each year from his twenty six million annual salary from twenty twenty two to twenty twenty eight. Man, fuck the Powerball. The deal. <laughs> the deal includes. <laughs> here, I can hit the zeros the rest of my life. The deal <laughs> includes a twenty million dollar mutual option for twenty twenty nine with a six point five million dollar buyout and a two million dollar buyout if it would be deferred. Now here, if the buyout is owed, the thirty million deferred money would be paid in twelve installments. Of two point five million each July first from twenty thirty one to twenty forty two. If they defer it, two point three million a year. Two point five. Five. Fuck. So if the bio is not owed, Yelich would receive twenty eight <clears throat> million in eleven installments. Then this is part of his contract for. That two, is lottery style money. <laughs> yeah, for two million three hundred and thirty three thousand and thirty three dollars. They're giving him the annuity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of the lump sum. So. <laughs> <laughs> whatever play the fucking games man that's all i want i want i want by the fourth yeah. of july i want baseball yeah. to be back on TV. you know it's really sad when all of a sudden i'm looking at my watch every day like okay here milwaukee and miami postponed so uh yeah, Milwaukee is... So, oh, wait. Milwaukee is supposed to be tonight playing the Arizona Diamondbacks. Well, what, I know that they... That was a win. Yeah. <laughs> they better be banking on the NFL season happening because they released the schedule. And how many people are planning, you know, hotel rooms already? And No, no. Imagine? Hey, I got you the invite. Hollow, uh, as much as I've been bagging on the Bengals in the past... Uh, I turned 40 uh, December 27th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, yeah we, you already talked about this. Houston you, at Bengals? No. Really? Yeah, you just asked. Yeah. You said, yeah, it was like an hour ago, but. <laughs> yeah, we were here. Oh, I didn't know if you were here. I thought he was here. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You oh, did. yeah, you did. You were over there mixing a drink, but. Or getting another beer. No, but no, he told, <clears throat> told it before when we were all sitting here. Oh, okay. Yeah. But no, that's, yeah. Yeah, so, it's so either Tennessee, Green Bay, or Houston. Yeah, Tennessee's Bengals. at Green Bay that week. Yeah, I get it, man. So. And but, then there's also the option of flight of Leeds for a week if you guys don't like. Hmm. Uh, I'd rather go to the football game. That's all right. Well, actually, I don't know. I'll give you the. You guys, you guys think about it. I, mean, I haven't. Well, you told me a Timothy? The only stadium I've been to for a football game is Lambeau, and that was three. Well, no. The only regular season football game at Lambeau I've ever been to is when we played the Lions, and the Lions went 0 16. Right. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the Bears were 2 and 14, so. That's the only thing I got going right now. So the only that's the, the plan. The only thing that's not canceled for me so far is October thirtieth. I got a concert in Tennessee. I'm going to. It's in a underground. They call it the caverns. 
It's a it's yeah, a yeah 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 yeah. It's, it's kind of like, like a top like six or eight place in the world, right? No, it's, like it's only been around and... for like three years. They turned this underground cavern into a live music venue. It's sort of like uh. Oh, in Colorado, they got the Red Rocks Amphitheater, which I want to go to at some Somewhere point in my life. Hazi saw uh, Tom Petty and Joe Walsh out there. Yeah. And all he has, and I, I bitched him, I'm like, dude, you shouldn't have got like a ticket there. Because it was like the last show Petty played. Like, oh, it really? Was, it, yeah, man, he Fuck. passed. Fuck. If you he, think about that, I mean, to know that you would go All he's got is like a little shows. crappy, like, paper ticket. It's like. Yeah, I got to go to somebody that I really love to, and this is the Dead South, which I've seen once before, but. In the caverns to see the Dead South would be fucking amazing. But the uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater, I want to go see too, but it's got to be somebody that I love. It just I, can't be I heard, any... like, especially, like, when there's, a like, the show starting and then, like, the sunset's going down. It's just Yeah, immaculate. the color of yeah. the fucking sunset yeah. on the, you know. Colorado is a, is, a, uh, is a gorgeous state. You know, it's... In, in, in Denver... You know, you think there's like potheads roaming around all the place? <laughs> no, it's not. Not at all. It's around here. It's, I was say, that's it's around super, here. <laughs> it's super, super clean. Um, if you want, if that's your thing, go. But it's very young and progressive. And I was really taken back from like the first time I was there. It was ten years between it. The city just sprouted up. Yeah. You know, it's kind of crazy. I want to go. Uh, and... I like Denver. Denver is a big one. It's right. a good one. Yeah, it's a good, I want. It's a great. Great city. It would be great if the Brewers played the Rockies. I'd like to take a vacation, yes. and if the Brewers played the Rockies on a weekend, Let's go Bull Diamond too. Yeah, and I always wanted to. Yeah, I always wanted to go to Rocky Stadium. Or Rocky Mile, Stadium. Mile High Stadium. No, that's a no, that's one. a football. Shit, a year uh, ago was there. A, a year ago today, Mother's Day, we saw or no, two years ago. Uh, that's where we saw Freddie throw eighteen strikeouts. Oh, Freddie Peralta. And, that's um, when he had his. He and, had, the, and, and it was a guy threw a bat. Is that when he had his where no, we were sitting? Hit it hit a lady behind us. Is that when he has no hitter going all the way to the eighth inning or something like that? Eighteen strikeouts. Yeah. But, I mean, that is one of them that I want to go. Uh, the one that I wanted, the, my number one that I want to go to, obviously, would be Fenway. Fenway on the green. Fenway, house. yeah. And then number two, I mean, I could pick any of them. I want to go to Pittsburgh. Three cool rivers. City. Cool or city, cool town. I've never been there. PNC Park. PNC Park. PNC Park is a cool park. Yeah, yeah. yeah for I'd sure. like to go to. Uh, is it Philadelphia or the one where they got the stockyards? Oh, brick that, no, the... it's Baltimore. Baltimore. Camden Yards. Mm, yeah, that's Camden not. Yards. No, 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 no. Uh, no you're talking about uh, Arlington. I'm talking about. Oh, Texas. No, 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 San Diego. No, 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 no. Maybe it is San Diego. Yeah. In the left corner, it's got. It's we're... a big brick building yes, that says San like the steel mill or whatever. That's San Diego. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Okay. Yep. I wonder why it's in San Diego. Yeah. But yeah, that's in, another good in one. the left corner. Yeah, I'd like to go see the Padres. And the air and uh, it's right in downtown. Because they got San like Diego. balconies outside yep. the on the it's like down the foul pole, and they got like four stories, and I think they're turned them into party uh, party suites, uh, where you can just party out on the balcony and watch the game from. It's like almost outside the stadium, but it's so high up that you can see everything. Sort of like uh, right. the Budweiser thing at St. Louis. Yeah. The apartment building across the street. Mm-hmm. Sort of like a party Pe- deck like that. Echo Park. And, like, the, it, the thing, um, I do know that uh, some people that I know that have gone to games there, they said it's really cool because it's right in the heart of downtown. So, like, it's... The, uh, and then the airport is right nearby. So the... Uh, Fuck that, we're driving. Air, well, no, but I was just saying. Oh, <laughs> so, like, if you're watching a game, you see the jets coming in. Like, the whoa. New York jets? <laughs> yeah. No, no Benny in the Jets. Butt fumble. No, no. <laughs> Butt cheeks. So, yeah, this is what you're thinking of, though. Okay. Everybody else listening, look up the San Diego Padres stadium and Which left field. I did have it. and uh, I was just playing this on MLB The Show 20, and I hit a home run in the left field, and it, was, it hit off that building. Speaking of MLB The Show, uh, right there. So, you were talking about this. Yep, I was talking about yep. that big... Western Metal Supply Company. Western Metal Supply in left field. Yeah. That's in in the balconies where the people can. Yeah, that's where. Yeah, I, but uh, I like to go there once. So, uh, you know, because we were not having to be faced with no baseball yet on opening day, and I think I sent you that. Did yeah, I? you sent me the. So I, so on you PlayStation know, we're Four. We're at the game. We're supposed to be at the game. Okay, and the thing is, is. 
I'm still on baseball, so I played MLB The Show 20. I played on computer, you know, whatever. I played on the computer or the PlayStation, well, PlayStation 4. PlayStation 4. Sorry, but I mean, I we had both got games. when they put the safer and home uh, order in. We both got the game so we could because we didn't know how serious it was at the time. Yeah. So we were actually staying home instead right. of now where we're just hanging out. So that way we could play each other on the you know PlayStation, right. so we could keep in contact with each other, so we won't off ourselves. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. We could at least keep an open line of communication, play some baseball or home run derby or some shit like that. But yeah, on opening day, <laughs> he you didn't live stream it, but you put it on like Snapchat yeah. or something. Yeah. He was playing, opening day was supposed to be against the Cubs. Yeah, it was the Cubs against, at the at Miller Park. So he, and will be the show 20, I don't know if you've seen the graphics, but it looks pretty fucking close it's to like, real life. Yeah. So all of a sudden he's snapping, he's like, hey, Brewers opening day. And it's showing like... The uh, the, the, the guys coming out, the, no, the, yeah, hey. the announcers and they're talking like it, right? It's like, hey, welcome to opening day. It's the Brewers versus the Cubs, and we're like, am I living in an alternate universe? Yeah. What is going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. start looking up shit, and you're like, oh, he's playing the f- fucking video game. And the Brewers ended up winning one nothing that day. Oh, yeah, great. Man. Fuck you, Ben Graf. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, you gotta think that's a total reset for a lot of these uh, organizations and things. It's uh, trust me. Well, you're gonna I, see a lot of they said that they're doing well on, this year. Like, oh well. I know that you know, they're, the guys they're doing time, spring training 2.0 is what they're calling it. They're calling it spring right training. Yeah, they're gonna do spring training 2.0, which more or less means that they're gonna let the players get back and get, you know, get them their fitness up and stuff like that, and then they're gonna start doing the play at home, but. I don't know exactly how well that's going to work. I mean, this is just an idea that was brought up. I mean, I can, um, I do know that they were talking about the spring training 2.0. Yeah. The the last I heard was they were shooting for starting a half season instead of they were going to start the season with the all-star game with either popular vote from last year or a brand new vote Here. for baseball fans. And then play because the the World Series home field the advantage is going to be different. Yeah, because the home field yeah. advantage is uh, based off the All Star game. Yeah. So they were thinking about like uh, like a NASCAR where Daytona is the beginning of the season, the Super Bowl is the beginning of the season. They were thinking about having the All Star game at the beginning of the season around the. 4th okay, so of July, this is what's going to happen right here. Or second week of July. This is as of today now. Uh, MLB is expected to make its first formal proposal to the union likely on Tuesday, on its envision of a season that could be played featuring roughly an 80 game regular season and teams playing exclusively in their regions commissioner rob manford will hold a conference call with the 30 controlled people of the teams monday to run through what is going to be presented to the union so what so much remains fluid based on for example which teams can play in their parts but for sources provided an overview of most likely proposal would have the spring training 2.0 starting in june and the last three weeks with a 78 to 82 game season opening in early July. Yeah, so around the fourth. There game. are those in the game who are still holding out for 100 games via double more head. You'll uh, never see it. I, I don't think you'll see a 100 game. That's not going to happen. No, no, no. It'll be around 80 or yeah. 70. But yeah, they were talking about instead of doing divisions, re- three regions. So yep. East Coast, West Coast, Central. So. No NL, no AL, no. just... So the Twins would be in the same, whatever. Yeah. The, so you the like a goddamn ribbon if Indians. you win the whole thing? I mean, you can't well, try them as a World Series champion. You can't. It's 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 disrespectful to the whole well, thing. Well, no, that it'll be an asterisk just like the 94 season with the strike. Mm-hmm. Well, then how about an asterisk for all the, the other guys? I'd rather have that, though, than no season at all. True. They're, yeah... They're strapped for coming up with creative ideas to try and get baseball back. You will even see this might be the new norm. No. Because, no, no. hey, that's a genius gambling. Uh, you know, it's like a Ron Robin type thing. You would think that Vegas would have, like, a strong push behind Trust trying me. to reopen shit to... Trust me. Because they they're, they're betting on Russian slap fights. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I wouldn't have to track over here. Boris. I've been winning. 
I told you you could not beat the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Bert Kreischer. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot oh, beat man. the machine. I am the machine. <laughs> oh, so you're the machine, huh? Oh, we heard stories about you. Well, I mean, we've done this almost two hours, so. Yeah. This has yeah. been a pretty good. Well, not a bad podcast, boys. So, uh, good sports talk. Yeah. Um. I think we uh, have some exciting stuff possibly coming up. Otherwise, it's just going to be us three fucks and getting drunk and talking shit. So maybe every now and then we might have a guest or a guest, special guest, a special guest. Or, you know, we might just have one of our friends just solo. Like uh, if Nicky Mac has a friend, he wants to do a solo podcast with him and him. Or uh, I got a couple friends that just they're a little bit uh, leery of being in big crowds, you know, like four people. So I might have a solo podcast with a person or two. We were talking about doing a uh, uh, hot, hot sauce, sauce challenge. Yep. Yeah, anything, man. A pizza challenge or, you know. Well, uh, I got... Yeah, a lot of things coming good this I got, I got. I'm just getting off the I got right ten uh, hot sauces. Did you rank them? Yeah, I took all of them and ranked them from least hot to most hot. Just like hot ones. I don't know if you ever saw that on YouTube. But, uh... I'm down with like hot shit. Well, I yeah. already said that I would oh, do yeah. the trivia part. Yeah. I mean, I will be the trivia. So, like, I will be the trivia master. Yes. Question master. <laughs> so uh, I am the gatekeeper. Well, uh, whatever night we gotta I figure am out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the key master. Whenever uh, one of the bars has oh, fuck me. has <laughs> wing night, <laughs> we'll get wings from one of the bars around here, and then uh, we'll sauce. Them. We'll get them naked, and then. Sauce them up with uh, different sauces that I got. We got a lot of good things. We got a lot of good things coming out of this show. I'm telling you, it's, we're getting our uh, feet wet here, uh, just with talking and things, and uh, you know, Figuring people out. miss human uh, communication. And this is just us talking. So, but, uh, well, get better. come down to my bar next week and sign in again. You bet. See you later, boys. We'll see yeah. you there.